next year, starting next year, nothing to do with this year. So anybody training for men's physique, don't worry about toning down. We're still going to look for what we're looking for. We're not going to train in the middle of the stream. Starting next year, men's physique is going to be less muscular, less separation. We want to kind of get it back to where we started. More, I don't know what's the right word to use, if it's the aesthetic, athletic looking, kind of toned down, muscle density, not as much muscle density, basically. Now, how are the classes going to be broken down? We're going to be doing the new classic physique by height and weights. So uh, every inch will be decided. If you're five foot four, I don't know the number offhand. Let's say say it's 155 pounds. Five foot five will be 160. But we're going to divide it into three divisions: under five foot seven, five seven to five ten, and over five ten. Just to start, we're going to have three divisions. Why did you create this new division? Well, because we have a lot of men's physique that are getting too big, and a lot of them aren't placing well. And then we have some male bodybuilders who don't want to be as big or can't get as big. So we're trying to give everybody something. So we decided to do this in the, something in the middle, basically. No, nobody knows this federation like you do. And I mean, there is a call. You go to any show, call for a new for this class because you go to a show and there are guys who look phenomenal, but they're just too big to fit into that criteria for men's physique. Are there going to be any changes with the women coming by? Well, exactly. Not only are we going to tone down men's physique, we are also going to tone down figure and women's physique. And Sandy, who obviously head judges almost every women's national pro qualifier, can actually explain that actually better than I can because he sees it firsthand more and more. And Jim's right. We just, we've slowly just, you know, started. And again, it's it's the judging's fault. It's not the athletes. The athletes are going to come, you know what I mean, come to the shows to compete the with what they are going to always try to get better. Exactly. Better. They're push the envelope. Yes, but if again, and as judges though, we've you know we started to award a little bit more size in both figure and in women's physique. And for the most of the athletes though, they they I mean they do. They email me. They email the national office. They don't want to see as much muscle, like I said, just like they don't, you know, young men don't want to in, in men's bodybuilding, I mean, in men's um, uh, physique, women don't either. So, you know, we know as an organization, and we've done this before, we just need to tone back the muscle a bit. So we're going to just kind of tone back a little bit, like, if you know, wherever you are to this now, if you're at that top of the line, you just need to, to, to drop it back another 10, 15%. We're just not going to be going, you know, again, like Jim said, this is not going to affect anything for the Olympia. It's not going to affect anything for nationals this year. We would never do anything, you know, mid, you know, mid year, but for, you know, starting next year again, you know, it will be out on the NPC news and stuff, but we need to, you know, we're just going to start toning back a little bit on the muscle, the amount of size that we're seeing. We don't need to see separation and striation in women's fi in figure. It's the yeah. density. Absolutely. It's a thickness. And, and the same thing with uh, women's physique. You know, we want to see nice fullness, but you don't need to be super striated. I don't need to see a lot of thick muscle on you. It's more just, again, it's just nice full muscle bellies, but nice lines, aesthetic lines.